Hi, in this lecture we are going to discuss about the relationship between the current gains that is the relationship between alpha, beta and gamma. We know that alpha is the current gain of common base configuration, beta is the current gain of common emitter configuration and gamma is the current gain of common collector configuration. So here you can see this is the relationship between alpha and beta. We can write alpha is equal to beta by 1 plus beta and we can write beta is equal to alpha by 1 minus alpha. And the relationship between beta and gamma can be written as beta is equal to gamma minus 1, gamma is equal to 1 plus beta. And the relationship between alpha and gamma can be written as alpha is equal to gamma minus 1 by gamma, gamma is equal to 1 by 1 minus alpha. In this oro relationship, we will see how we can get this relationship. We will see the current equation. The current equation of transistor. The current equation of BJT. Right? We can write the current equation of BJT as IE is equal to IB plus IC. So, this is the current equation of BJT. This is the current equation of BJT. This is the relationship of BJT. Okay? And we know that alpha is the current gain of common base configuration. So, we can write alpha is equal to IC by IE. That is beta. It is the current gain of common emitter configuration. So, emitter is common. Output terminal is IC. So, IC by IB is beta. So, similarly, gamma can be written as uh, it is the uh, current gain of common collector configuration. So, collector is common. So, emitter is the output terminal. So, gamma can be written as IE by IB. That is the Okay, now we have a relationship between uh, alpha and beta. Alpha and beta. First one is the relationship between alpha and beta. Alpha term, beta term, common IT in the current term, IC. So, what we are doing is divide this current equation by IC. Your current equation is IC divide. Divide by IC. Now we have to IE by IC is equal to IB by IC plus IC by IC. Okay. Now what is IE by IC? IE by IC in the world, we can write 1 by alpha. 1 by alpha. Alpha is equal to IC by IE. So IE by IC in the world, 1 by alpha. Is equal to IB by IC in the Here we can write 1 by beta plus IC by IC is equal to 1. Now we can rearrange this. Alpha so we can rearrange this. Now 1 by alpha is equal to beta by 1 plus beta. Taking the reciprocal, alpha is equal to beta by 1 plus beta. This is what we get here. Alpha is equal to beta by 1 plus beta. Here you can see. Alpha is equal to beta by 1 plus beta. Neither we have beta equal to convert. So, same equation. We will rearrange it. 1 by beta is equal to 1 by alpha minus 1. 1 by beta is equal to 1 by alpha minus 1. Okay. Now, we can write like this. 1 by beta is equal to. So, taking the reciprocal, beta is equal to alpha by 1 minus alpha. Beta is equal to alpha by 1 minus alpha. This is the same thing. Alpha by 1 minus alpha. In the relationship between uh, gamma and beta. Beta and gamma are the same thing. 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 Beta and gamma are the IB. Okay. IB is the current thing. Common IB. So divide the current equation by IB. What is our current equation? Current equation is IE is equal to IB plus IC. So divide current equation by IB. 
okay you will get a ib by ib plus ic by ib okay now what is this ie by ib and then ie by ib ie by ib that is gamma ie by ib is equal to gamma gamma is equal to ib by ib is equal to 1 plus ic by ib and then what is ic by ib ic by ib is equal to beta so we can write beta similarly we can write beta is equal to gamma minus 1 beta equal to gamma minus 1 and gamma is equal to 1 plus beta. Okay. In the relationship between alpha and gamma, alpha and gamma and gamma are going to be Okay. So what is our current equation? IE is equal to IB plus IC. Now alpha and gamma are common to be able to Alpha and gamma are common to be able to IE. Okay. So divide the current equation by IE. Divide the current equation by IE. So IE by IE is equal to IB by IE plus IC by IE. Okay. So what we will get? 1 equal to IB by IE. And then IB by IE. IB by IE is equal to 1 by gamma. Okay. Is equal to 1 by gamma plus IC by IE. What is IC by IE? IC by IE is equal to alpha. So, we can write alpha. Now, rearranging this, we will get alpha is equal to 1 minus 1 by gamma. So, we can again rearrange this to get alpha is equal to gamma into 1 minus gamma by gamma. Right? So, this is the alpha is equal to 1 minus gamma by gamma. This is gamma equal to gamma. This is the same equation. Same equation rearranged here. 1 by gamma is equal to 1 minus alpha. So, gamma can be written as 1 by 1 minus alpha. Taking the reciprocal. This is the same equation. Gamma is equal to 1 by gamma. 1 minus alpha. This is the equation of our equations. So, alpha is equal to beta by 1 plus beta. Beta is equal to alpha by 1 minus alpha. And beta is equal to gamma minus 1. And we can write gamma is equal to 1 plus beta. And alpha is equal to gamma minus 1 by gamma. And gamma is equal to 1 by 1 minus alpha. So, these are the relationship between the current gains of common base, common emitter and common collector configurations. I hope this session will be helpful for you. See you in the next session.